A blessed morning, one and all. This is your apostle, Elijah Peter Chambers, once more with a pounding word. Hallelujah! A harsh one and also an intriguing one. And our topic is my story put behind bars for speaking, thus said the Lord. And this is our 56 series, and our theme is Born to Win. Thank you, Jesus. I'm enjoying being a winner at all costs, regardless of what you say, regardless of your, your, your assumptions, regardless of your allegations, regardless of your negativities. I'm still born to be a winner. Glory be to God. But we'd like to read from a very important scripture. Matthew 5, 11, verses 12. Um, 11 through to 12. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely. Isn't this the very thing that is happening to me? Hypocrites are saying things falsely against me. False brethren are saying things falsely against me. Glory be to God. But if they did Jesus, the son of the living God, the very thing, they called him Beelzebub. They called him Wine Biba. They said that he was with the occult. He was with the evil ones. Hallelujah. But because the kingdom of God was at hand, the kingdom, hallelujah, came to dismantle or to remove other regimes and kingdom. They were threatened. Glory be to God. For my sake, rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted the prophets which were there before. Matthew 10 22 says, And he shall be hated of all men. You shall be hated. I have never seen so many hypocrites and false brethren and political activists with such hatred. They want my head. But here the scripture says, And he shall be hated of all men, not some not few, not a portion hallelujah but you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake but he that endureth to the end shall be saved Psalm 57 verses 3 declares he shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach, from the disgrace from the reproach, from the evil allegation of him that would swallow me up God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. Glory be to God. The day I was put behind bars, was speaking, thus said the Lord, hit the nation, nation wide, as hypocrites, false brethren, false brethren, rejoice, even those who made themselves known negatively. This was the ultimate moment. Hallelujah. To bury Elijah, Peter Chambers. You heard many evil remarks from the political activists, false brethren, from those who seek my demise. Hallelujah. Many false brethren came out publicly on social media. Says the Lord told them that I was wrong when God didn't tell them anything. They were upset because the Lord gave me a word against a corrupt government. They support, though they saw, say they knew God. The false virgin even found, hallelujah, scriptures to justify their evil against me falsely. These were their words. Jesus would never speak to anyone in that, in that manner I did. When scriptures proved Jesus beat the hypocrites. And the, and the scribes out of the temple angrily. Although all through scriptures, the gospel exposed where Jesus called the false Christians and scribes and Pharisees, dogs and sorcerers. Hallelujah. Fox, he called them fox. Oh, perverse generation. The generation of viper. Hallelujah. And you say that 
the manner in which I spoke to the leader of this land has no humility. Then what would you say about Jesus? Jesus called them fox, perverse generation. He called them dogs and sorcerers. Hallelujah. These folks, these false brethren speak of me being arrogant when it is their pride and falsehood God is against. We saw how all that came out against God's purpose in my life today are ashamed, sick, rejected, and is dead. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Time is the master, and time, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Tell the truth. Time will, time will tell the truth and close the hypocrite's mouth. The day I was placed in the prison cell, angels unaware showed up while they transported me to Sita through the back road. Even the car was that I was transported in was surrounded by angelic beings. One sister, she said when she heard of my locked up, she asked the Lord, what is wrong? Why are they saying so much evil on social media nation? Why is TV falls against him? She, she was revealed, the Lord revealed to her a vision that I was surrounded with supernatural fire, an angel, and the Lord revealed to her that they set up the apostle Elijah Peter Chambers and God will deliver him from the political and religious enemies. Prayers were made, were sent, sent up for me as the church in the book of Acts prayed for Peter the apostle when he was locked up for preaching Jesus in the streets. The prayer of the church caused Apostle Peter to be released and the church rejoiced. Hallelujah. The Lord left the false brethren, hypocrites, political activists, shock and ashamed. I watched God put everyone who came out pretending to be representing false humility to a shame. One hypocrite declared on YouTube, I can't understand how did he got away. Hallelujah. Then if the man is innocent, then he no must get away. The act of God proved to all you who came out pretending you know God or you knew God when you had no relationship with God. One by one, God closed their hypocritical mouth and put them to open shame and disgrace. Some who came out and spoke, removed their false video. Hallelujah. And others still have their evil video waiting for my fall. Didn't the Bible declares the righteous shall fall seven times and rise. I laugh daily against you hypocrites and false brethren. Do you think you will win above God's righteous? Hallelujah. One month, one month ago, I got a vision where I was walking through the town of Brownstown, St. Anne's, and I saw everyone, everything was normal until at the split of a second. I saw cars running into each other. People were running into, into the walls. Accidents upon accidents were all over the town. A woman cried out saying in the vision, Pastor Peter, the people are turning zombies because that because they took the white lady. Here is a young man I know in the community. His parents bought, brought him to take the white lady. And he's blocking out. He is also losing weight rapidly. I know his, this vision will come to pass. Many are going, going to just fall to the ground and die. Their, their, their internal organs will die. Many have taken the white lady and said nothing will happen. When judgment start, many will lose loved ones, wives, husbands, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts. I saw this in a vision and the Lord that the Lord gave me. When you think it's peace and safety, it is sudden destruction. The white lady will kill many, says God. Many shall die. Listen, I'm seeing this happening. The people who took the white lady, the people who thought that this 
could protect them from the coronavirus. Hallelujah. Go repeat to God. This is a vision. You shall see this come to pass. One by one, people are dying in the nation. Nobody talking. Nobody opening their mouth to declare what really destroy them or kill their family members. But because you persecute the prophets, the Bible said that, hallelujah, so as they persecuted the prophets of all, don't you see what is happening in Jamaica? Hallelujah. Nobody wants to hear from the prophets. And everybody that prophesies, they say that they fall, that they're in a cult. Hallelujah. So the end has come. The Bible said that you are to repent and turn from your wicked ways and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And he shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. I implore you this morning. Hallelujah. Turn from your wicked ways. Repent because judgment is ahead of us. God bless you.